Hey, Pisces rising. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Ruth. About to do your weekend read, okay? I already pulled four cards. And we have King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, and Ten of Cups. So what I got from this is you want respect for whatever's going on. Let me put this light on, sorry. Whatever's going on in your life right now, feel like you're being disrespected. And you don't have any clarity about whatever this is. You don't understand why it's not working out. Whatever the situation is you're going through, okay? Then we have, now you can see whoever this is or whatever this is, you can see it clearly. And you have peace and harmony, and you want peace and harmony. You get in the downloads. And they're letting you understand that maybe have you seen it in a dream or just while you're sitting, you just have a vision of something, okay? Something you're seeing. Um, it could be anything, but, you know, whatever you feel. And then we have um, the Ten of Cups. Now, either you're finding out someone is, is gay or maybe yourself or either you um, want to be happy. You know, you're seeing the happiness, you're seeing your family, you know, what you want for your future, or whatever this thing you're doing respect, you want a happy home, you want the whole nine yards, and that's what you're seeing, and that's what you're manifesting, I'm, I'm seeing, okay? While you're getting that vision, right, from the two of swords, okay? I'll pull some other cards, some paper on top. Okay, it says, are you asking the right questions to you? Could you be open to different, different that may work, different something different that may work, okay? Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, then we have, let's pull these right here. Maybe try another approach on something, right? Yeah, for your family. Maybe uh, get more grounded or uh, something. Uh, maybe your kids. Something for your kids. Okay, then we have uh, somebody's unloyal. Um, maybe you don't want any more kids. Maybe this is future. Maybe you want kids in the future, but just want to make sure that everything is going to go in order. Or maybe this has to do with your child. Uh, maybe having some somewhere something for them to do this summer, or maybe trying to get them in some kind of summer program, uh, whatever it may be. Um, you're confused about. Okay, then we got the lady in red. Now that could be you. Maybe a certain way that they are demanding that you, you know, maybe do something. Uh, have to dress a certain way, be a certain way, uh, some kind of rules to whatever this is. Um, or you could be just going out this weekend, okay? And um, not we are not traveling far from home. I do see that with this card right here, okay? Okay, let's see. Say, are you asking the right questions to you? Okay, maybe you had, um, like I say, trying to get some land, buy some land or something like that, and it's not working out. You got a uh, double Gemini. So this is coins, long journey. Uh, maybe you want somebody to help out more, bring some more money in, or somebody's bringing some money in to you, okay? Then we got King. Let me pull that last card before I start this. Pull one more card. We got the King again. Okay. Okay, trying to put the roll back on here. Okay, where's my little booklet at? Oh, wow. Okay, here it goes. Um. King of Swords reverse. Okay. 
Okay, and that is saying signifies a person ruled by Taurus, reserved, sullen, and practical. Right, uh, reverse in the case of Taurus woman. I have. So I don't know if they don't have the money you asked for, or they saying they don't have any room for whatever it is, or um, you don't have enough money for whatever this is. Okay, and we have the King of Scepter. Signifies a person ruled by Aries, fiery, headstrong, ambitious, courageous, and energetic. Re uh, right way up, the Nosa Aries, man, I am. So that's masculine energy. So uh, maybe they're coming in to help you out, maybe. An Aries. Or you need to get in your Aries, because you're right by Aries on the chart. Aries, maybe you're Aries or Aries moon or whatever it may be. A uh, whole nother mindset, business, business mindset for whatever this is you're trying to do. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, see, not asking the right questions, right? We got, I am awesome. And we got, don't label yourself. Don't try to steal my energy, causing debate, wasting of time, dividing people. Do you, causing separation, feeding archons. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. You figure that one out, whatever that means for you. Okay, got one trying to bend in here. We got the secret of magic. That's for all of us to know. Lying, saying it's good or bad, it's necessary. So maybe somebody's telling you the way that you doing things is not right. And you have a pretty good idea of how you want things. And uh, going into your Aries mindset, you're figuring that out, right? Okay. Yeah. It says workout purified. Okay, we have you are already popular. Have fun. Help is on the way. Okay. Okay, we got glasses, flashlight, you're sharp, frogs, peace, eternal beauty within, and honesty, transformation, change, cleanse through water, fertility, encounters, and omens. And rocks, so you're solid as a rock, whatever this is. Okay. We got 16 years. We got, you will get the house, condo, land of your dream. So don't worry about it. You just need to reword, rethink everything more professional. An Egyptian, okay. Whatever that means for you. Okay, I'm gonna do my little other little card. See what comes out. It says, uh, Greek mythology. She's female version of male demon, source of hunting. Hunted. Callings come to me. So I don't know if like I say, I don't know if you're hearing things or you <clears throat> doing that to someone, or maybe the land is haunted or the house is haunted. And are the person you're dealing with, you feel like they have demons in them or something, something you you're finding out, okay? Or oh, that land could be um so much hurt. 
from the people who original people who owned it and uh could be something like that going on too okay we got dolphins and whales four dolphins four whales equals eight so eight's a good number okay That clothesline first, <clears throat> and a bird on the on the clothesline. If all the colors are the same, all the clothes are the same color. Whatever that means for you, reverse five points. Certain things can mean certain things to people. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let me get your chakra wisdom. Oh, let me get this uh, forensic. Let's see. It says breaking curfew. Maybe something to do with your kids. Yeah, maybe they breaking curfew, unemployed, and uh, snapper. Okay. They could be snapping in a conversation, smart mouth, and you talk to them about something. However, way you feel. Be a shock of wisdom, okay. We got third shock of solar plexus, oneness and unity. I accept the oneness of our life and I know I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others, and I choose to see the love in all around me. I see everything as part of my life, my own life, and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differences, as this brings harmony into my life and into theirs. Okay. All right, Pisces rising. That's what I have for you. Okay, like, subscribe, share, and comment. I really appreciate it. Hope it helps in some type of way, okay? All right, love y'all. Bye.